This monkey collects fruit in its pouches like a hamster. And this one looks like Pai Mei, the Kung Fu Sensei from Kill Bill, doesn't it? Oh, and this monkey over here is actually poisonous. You don't believe us? Well, we'll show you. That monkey species is actually called Slow Lori, and you might be thinking that the only thing that's strange about this monkey is how cute it really is. But as said, they're actually poisonous. That's right, the Slow Lori can be found in Southeast Asia from Bangladesh, India to the Philippines and China, and it's one of the few poisonous species of primates. There are eight species of Slow Loris in the world, and all of them have those cute googly eyes. One of the main ways biologists can tell the species apart is by the color pattern of their fur. Unlike most monkeys, who have long arms for jumping from branch to branch, the slow lorries has short arms and legs that are roughly the same length. The length they lack in extremities is more than made up for by their adaptations, which give them a pincer-like grip. That's why they can hold onto branches for long periods of time. Also, they have a long and flexible torso. As for the poison, they make it by licking the sweat gland on their arm. When this substance is mixed with their saliva, it becomes toxic, meaning that their bite can be fatal to predators. This specimen is called a proboscis monkey. The first thing that you immediately notice on these monkeys is their tail. That's because it's… ah, uh, who are we kidding? Of course you notice the nose, and how could you not? It looks like a drooping pear. But that's only the males, the females have a small and pointy nose. The proboscis monkeys are arboreal old world primates that have this brownish red skin color, a straight and long tail, and they're endemic to the island of Borneo, found around the coastal areas in the mangrove forests on the island. They might not look too big, but they're considered one of the largest primates in Asia. The males are around 30 inches in length and can reach a maximum weight of 66 pounds. The females are slightly smaller than the males, measuring 24 inches in length and only 26 pounds. A majestic monkey with an even more majestic nose, don't you think? Up next, we have the white-faced Saki. Their face is white as snow and their body is dark as the night. That's the white-faced Saki for you. You might say the name is pretty much self-explanatory. That's not the case when you're looking at the female white-faced Saki. They have an overall grayish fur coat with a brown chest. The animals are considered New World monkeys because they can be found in countries like Brazil, Venezuela, and Guyana. The Saki spent most of their days foraging the forest for, for nuts, fruits, insects, and some seeds. Once they're fed, they're expert swingers and spend the rest of their time on top of the trees. These monkeys, just like many others, show signs of sexual dimorphism. That is, the males are slightly larger than the females, weighing on average 2 pounds more than their female counterparts. Now, if you leave the white-faced Saki in the wild, It'll smash that like button just like you should if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, it will live for 14 years in the wild, but a whopping 36 years when held in captivity. This is a Tarsier. Fun fact, the eyeballs on some Tarsier monkeys are larger than their overall brain, but this doesn't mean the monkeys are less intelligent. On the contrary, this is an evolutionary trait. They needed to balance their large eyes and heavy head for long periods of time while silently waiting for their prey, so the size of their brain grew smaller. They also have heightened hearing, long hind limbs, and an elongated heel. What does this mean? Well, it means that the animal is able to climb trees with ease and leap from one tree to the other without a problem. As you can see, they are a rather small animal with an overall length of 4 to 6 inches and a tail that can grow up to 10 inches. They are native to Southeast Asia specifically liana forests in the Philippines, Malaysia, Indonesia, and Brunei. This monkey you saw in the intro, it's the Emperor Tamarin. If you think it looks like Kung Fu Master Pai Mei from Kill Bill, you're right. Those distinctive white whiskers are really something special. But that's not where it got the name from. Even though the word emperor suggests it, they're not even found in Asia. The Emperor Tamarin is native to Amazonas and Acre in Brazil, as well as the Amazon Basin in Peru and Bolivia. The Brazilians named it after the German Emperor Wilhelm II, who had this distinctive mustache pointed upwards. Their fur is predominantly grey, and they have brownish speckles all over. They also have a brown tail and black feet and hands. The animal itself is very small, weighing only 18 ounces. The overall body length is only 10 inches. The tail, on the other hand, is even longer than its entire body, standing at 16 inches. Fun fact, 
it seems like they're enjoying human interaction because many times the zookeepers report that the emperor tamarins lays on its back with a feet in the air, expecting it to receive special treatment. This unique looking guy is a bald Oakari. They might look like Marvel's Red Skull villain, but they're actually really friendly and gentle. Their bright red face indicates that the monkey is healthy. If the monkey was sickly, then it would have a pale and graying face. So having that red face is a good thing. The bald Oakari lives in the Varzia forest in the Amazon River in Brazil and Peru. They're predominantly arboreal, which means that they spend the majority of their time up in the treetops. They only come down during the dry season to tick up the seeds that have fallen on the ground during the wet season. They might look big on the video, but we're talking about a monkey whose average weight is around 7 pounds. Their fur is long and red, and they have short, bulbous-shaped tails. Currently, they're classified under the vulnerable group of animals by the IUCN, mainly because of the deforestation in the region. Up next is the golden snub-nosed monkey, endemic to forests high atop the mountains in central and southwest China. Maybe the name sounds much cooler in Chinese, but in English, well, it's average at best, unlike the monkey which is truly special. Why? They live at an elevation of between 5,000 and 11,000 feet. Because the mountains are high, oftentimes the monkey has to live in the snowy forest. It might sound crazy for normal primates, but the snub-nosed monkey with its blue face can take on the cold. In fact, most of their life, around 97% of their time, is spent on top of trees. Their diet consists primarily of lichens, but they're also known for eating various plants. In the family, there are three subspecies and their population is estimated to be between 8,000 and 15,000 strong. They're considered an endangered species and the reason for this is primarily deforestation and habitat loss as well. We can see a trend here. Top 3 this is a gilada. Found in the Ethiopian highlands, the gilada monkeys have no problem living at an elevation of up to 14,400 feet. Even though they live at high elevations, the gilada spends the majority of its time on the ground. That's right, these close relatives to the baboon are constantly foraging the earth in search of grass, which makes up about 90% of their diet. If you look at the males and the females, you'll see that they have much longer hair on their back, making them look bigger. Also, the males are about 40 pounds on average, while the female's average is only half of that. The males are also larger than the females, standing at 30 inches. Number 2. The Famous Debrazas Monkey They might be the species of monkeys that's the hardest to spot. Why? Because they're famous for their ability to hide very well from predators and humans. The locals call them swamp monkeys and they have these distinctive white beards and orange foreheads. Their entire body is covered in long brown fur and they're famous for their cheek pouches. You see, just like hamsters, while these primates are foraging the forest floor for fruits, insects and seeds, they collect the fruit in their cheeks and keep on searching. The males weigh usually 15 pounds, while the females are about half of that. Number 1. The Pygmy Marmoset Don't let the image fool you, this is the absolutely smallest monkey in the world. They're found in the rainforest of the Amazon Basin in South America and can reach a weight of only 3.5 ounces. They're also a gummivore, which doesn't mean they like Haribo. It means that they like to eat the gum sap from local trees. They usually live in communities of six individuals and most of the members are part of the immediate family. To communicate, the pygmy marmoset will use vocal, chemical, and visual signals. All of these are dependent on how far they need to travel. This is Koala with quality content. See you soon. YouTube thinks that you should watch this video next.